A pleasure to me all at last, and welcome back to Tiny Die Cast Fury, and welcome back to another segment of Wave Rippers. The inclusion of Wave Rippers in this series is pretty much an easy task. Seven models in total were part of that team, and this is one of them. Switchback, driven by Alec Wood, Vert Wheeler's own best friend. And in a similar fashion to how the DR2 actually carries two surfboards, you got Switchback, which also carries two at once. And these can, of course, be detached and reattached. It's also funny how they just wiggle around. Of course, this vehicle is simply just a classic vintage looking pickup truck that's also low riding, as you can see. Its wheels are pretty tough. Body sits close to the ground and all that. And it's mostly hollow for some odd reason, especially when you look on the bottom. The wheels, at least in direct proportion towards the wheel well and other areas, they pretty much give some pretty large cavities on the inside, which do make this thing a bit more lightweight and sturdy and able to move freely on the track. That's not really to say that this thing is supposed to be better because it's not really. This has actually performed a bit smaller in ways compared to most other models I've seen. Lots of pickup truck models are fantastic, such as the 2009 Ford F-150 and the Volkswagen Caddy, but Switchback is not necessarily one of those types, mostly for how low it sits to the ground, and so that's not really a good thing to have. If you want to be a good track star, then you got to have a lot of different body constructions in order to be optimal enough to be considered a track star. That's how Mattel would put it. Otherwise, I really do love this model. It's a personal favorite of mine alongside the R2 and a handful of other picks from Highway 35 World Race. And I feel like that that will be all for today. So if you want to see more, go down to my channel to make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.